are some spiders. So this one is an arrow-shaped mycathena, a spiny-backed orb weaver. I've actually ran into a spiny-backed orb weaver. They're incredibly strong. Okay. Under a microscope, looking kind of like venom. What did we just learn? Uh, we learned that old world spiders will bite because they can't shoot hair in their enemy's face, whereas new world spiders will sh shoot spiny hairs at their enemies so they don't bite very often. These guys. Bite. But they're still big and scary. The species that lives here in Toronto is responsible for attracting more insects than spiders eat. It's estimated spiders are eat about 200 kilograms of insects per hectare per year. Wherever you're in Toronto, you're likely to be near one of these common species. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I haven't seen anything like that in Toronto. This guy, this guy's okay. So, male spiders are tiny, and the females are bigger. So like, this little guy has to meet with this. Big mama. Big mama. Isn't that yeah. interesting? And like, look how beautiful this one is. Yes. Like, hey, asshole. No. Over there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a butt, doesn't it? It's uh, a spigot. A spinneret. It's a spinneret. With spigots on them. With spigots on it. Looks like a butt to me. I can't believe this is real. This is a real spider. It's a black widow. Dan was saying it has like a chrome finish. It's like a latex spider. Like it doesn't, it honestly looks fake. Oh my gosh, so scary. Hey. Is made by spider silk. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is the itchiest museum I've ever been in. It's on me. It's on me. It's on me. It's on me. This 